Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'll be showing how to clean an Android Studio project to make it suitable for maybe emailing to a friend or submitting as part of a course. So I've got a Android Studio uh, instance open. I've just gone through the wizard and accepted the basic uh, standard initial application, and then I've run it and it's loaded up here in my emulator and we can see it's just the trivial Hello World application. Now, in spite of it being a trivial application, its size on disk is actually non-trivial. So in the project window on the left hand side, I'm going to right click on the app, name at the top, and then I'm going to go down and select Show in Explorer. On Mac OS or under Linux, it'll be named appropriately. I'll click on that, it opens up my file viewer, the native file viewer, and I will then, under Windows here, right click and select Properties, and it will tell me how big it is, and we can see here that it's 55 megabytes on disk for the Hello World uh, application. That is not all source code. So what we want to do is we want to clean out the fluff and make it so that we've got just the code that we need to submit or email to someone else. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out, I'm going to close the emulator and I'm going to close uh, Android Studio. I don't technically need to do that, but it makes it uh, much more, uh, uh, much easier to ensure we don't lose anything. So now I've just got the file folder here. I'm going to, under Windows, I need to get a uh, command prompt to here because I want to run this Gradle folder or file, but I need to give it an argument. So under Windows I can hold the shift key on the keyboard and then right click and it props up a window and on that I can say open command window here. Under Linux you'll have to run a terminal session and change to the appropriate folder, uh, Mac OS uh, perhaps similarly. Okay, so from here I can do a dir and it'll show me all the files or an ls and specifically what I want to, what I want to run is this Gradle. Under Windows I'm going to run gradle.bat under Mac OS or Linux I'm probably just going to run Gradle. So I can type here uh, Gradle, Gradle W, space clean. Uh, it may need to do some downloading the first time you run this it should automatically figure all that out for you, it may take a few minutes but I've already done that and so it runs fairly quickly and now it tells me that it's completed the clean action. Uh, well, if you're wondering what this is, Gradle is the build script that uh, Android Studio uses to build the entire application, and we're just going to kind of plug in and call that directly to make it work. The clean target, as we say, allows us to uh, specify we want to remove all of the fluff that the uh, system would normally build as it tries to build our application and, and compile it again. So now if I right click on my uh, application, I can go down very to the very bottom and say properties, and my window comes up here as being 3 megs. So that's much better. So at this size I could then uh, zip it up, so let me just do that. I'm going to right click, say uh, send to and compress to folder. And if I go up, I should be able to see here's my application which is now under uh, half, about half a meg. So uh, that's all I wanted to show, then you could just take this file, uh, send it to somebody else, they can extract it and they will have this folder you had, they'll load it up in their Android Studios by saying open a project and get the entire thing back. Uh, if I were to reload Android Studio now we would see that it would rebuild the application, I'd be back to my 56 meg folder and it would carry on from where it left off. Thank you for watching.